Praise God. God is good to us. You know, I'm so glad tonight because the Lord saved me. One day I was lost and I was in my sins. But Jesus came in. And I said an eternal yes to God. And ever since that night, I have the victory. And I thank God for it tonight. Praise God. I tell you, my soul is happy. We just had a good time all day today. Thank you, Jesus, that we're having a good time tonight. And I thank God. Let me, let me say this to you. I'm sitting down tonight because I'm having a little knee trouble. But listen, let me tell you something. It's not nothing wrong with my mouth. Nothing wrong with my mouth. Hallelujah.
waiting on him to come back. Oh, thank God. You may be seated. I'm feeling all right tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just want to say a little something to you tonight. Praise God. Hallelujah. Out of Romans 13, 12, 11 and 12. Romans 13, 11. And that, knowing the time. Yes. That now it is high time. Uh-huh. To wake out of sleep. Yes. For now is our salvation. Yes. Near than when we believe. Oh, yes. Twelfth verse. The night is far spent. Yes. The day is at hand. Yes. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. Yes. And let us put on the armor of light. Thank you. Praise God. We're talking about tonight, the people are asleep. Not realizing that Jesus is fixing to come back. But it said, but knowing the time. We can stop right there. Knowing the time. Because you can see the things that Jesus spoke of yes, is coming to pass. Yes, Everything is happening just like he said it would. And we're in the last of the last days. And it said, the Apostle Paul is uh, one in the Corinthians church, the Roman church, back in those days. He was looking for Jesus to come back. And he said, knowing the time. Amen. It's a lot of people today, you act like you're going to live forever. You don't know what time it is. But you need to wake up because we're sleeping in a dangerous time. Amen. Do you know Jesus said when he was talking about the bridegroom? He said, while the bridegroom tarried in Matthew 25, he said, they all slumbered and slept. That's a dangerous scripture. Because that lets you know that the church world is asleep. The world is asleep. Those half so-called Christians are asleep. And it's kind of dangerous when the church world is asleep. We're looking at the things that's happening around us. People act just like that Jesus didn't say what he meant. They're lying, cheating, backbiting, doping, changing wives like automobiles. Amen. They are doing everything, everything that God, the Lord spoke against in his word. The peoples are doing it today. But the time is now. Now is the time that you need to stop and assess about your soul. Look at the inside of you. You know whether you are right or not. Amen. Amen. Now is the time. Right now while the blood is running warm in your vein. Right now, praise God, while you have the activity of your limbs. Right now while you can think right. You don't know. You could wake up in the morning and don't even know your name. Somebody can say, what is your name? My name is Sally. That's right. You can wake up not even knowing your name. And this is the reason why right now, while you are clothed in your right mind, while the blood is running warm in your veins, this is the time to get salvation. This is the time to find out and know who Jesus is. He's a mighty fine person to know. He's somebody that you can take with you everywhere you go. And in fact, he said, if you just get, you in, get me in the inside of you, I'll never leave you. Your husband may walk away. Your wife may walk away. And a lot of times, your children will walk away. But he said, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. He said, yeah, I'm with you even to the end of the world. Clap your hand and thank him for it. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 
He said, it's high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Do you know it's closer to the time of the coming of Christ than it was when you first got saved? Some of us been saved a long time. The Lord saved me in my teens. You don't have to try to count. <laughs> but praise God, that was 56 years ago. The Lord saved me, and he put my feet on this highway of holiness. I'm glad about it tonight. I haven't been sorry that I've been serving God. A lot of people say, oh, you have to give up so much to come out of the world. But look what you gain. You have eternal life abiding within your soul. Isn't that wonderful? Praise God. Hallelujah. Now is the time. I just want to leave that little thought with you tonight. Don't go back out of this building tonight going back home without God, you need him. This is an evil day and a perilous time. I've never seen a day like today. I've never seen killings like we see today. I was just listening on the news this weekend where this young lady killed a lady in Kansas City, I believe it was Missouri or somewhere in St. Louis, killed this lady cut the baby out of the lady, kill the baby, and put her three children in the a dryer at a, at a laundromat and kill them. Now she wiped out a whole family. This is an evil day. What in the world but the devil could possess a person's mind? to make them think to do an evil thing like that. This is an evil day. When we leave and leave this church and make it back Tuesday night or whatever night, we need to thank God. Because I want you to know evil is everywhere in the land. You don't know who lives next door to you. Amen. A lot of times you say, oh, this is some of the sweetest neighbors I've ever seen. But you don't know, sometimes that's a demon live next door to you and plotting and thinking to kill you. You need God. Now is the time, as if never before, to get your business together and get right with God. Because the night is far spent. Do you realize it's been over 2,000 years ago when the Lord was talking about his going and coming back. He said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. But he said, I will come again. Did he say it? Yes. And I'm going to receive you unto myself. And there where I am, there ye will be also. Amen. And so now, that's two th over 2,000 years ago, the night is far spent, and the day is at hand. Praise God. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, the devil's work. Fall out with the devil. Get mad at him, and let him know you don't lead me no more. I'm going with Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to live for God. The people claim that you can't live right. But if you are not saved from sin, what in the world are you saved from? Hallelujah. We are saved from sin. And we can live a clean and perfect life before God. Well, they say you can't do it. But Jesus let us know that we can. For we can do what? Paul said. All, All things through who? Christ. That strengthen us. That's what I'm so glad about the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost comes in and it strengthens you. And it gives you the ability. See, the Holy Ghost gives you ability to think. That's it. 
because the Lord said that he would bring all, all things to your remembrance. That's right. That's Whatsoever he has said to us, he said, I'm going to bring it back to your remembrance. And he lets us know what is sin and what is not sin. Am I right? That's what the Holy Ghost do. It gives you the ability. And after having the ability to think, he gives you the power. Now, why can't you live right? You got everything that you need. Jesus, God gave you the tools. Use them. Amen. Some, some of the old patriots uh, composed a song that says, let the Holy Ghost lead you. So let it lead you all the way. Then it went on to tell you, it will lead you all the way from earth to glory. Let the Holy Ghost lead you. And I'm so glad tonight, glory to God, that we are yet being led by the Holy Ghost. Praise God, hallelujah. Clap your hands for Jesus. Glory to God. When you are asleep, you are near. Conscious, conscious ceases. You know, when you go to drop off to sleep, your conscious, you go get tweaks and between. Sleep is like death. When you go to sleep, you don't know who you are. You don't know where you are. Amen. You don't know what you're doing. Sometimes you're talking in your sleep, <laughs> tossing and turning in your sleep. That's near death. So conscious cease, and the body functions slows down. You sleep then. This is what's happening to the church world, the body of Christ. The body functions have slowed down. And this is why the people are slow for now. This is why they don't come to church like they should. This is why the things that they said used to be wrong is right now. It's because they slowed down. Amen. They've had a burnout and slowed down. But let me tell you, this is no time to slow down now. I believe one portion of the scripture said, read and run. Is that what it said? You better read and run because the time is at hand. Amen. When you sleep, fatigue sets in. Yes, it is. Without much activity at all. Fatigue, you know, you've been half sleeping yourself, you say. Right. Amen. Fatigue doesn't sleep. If this is the way people are living the Christian life now. Right. Yeah, not enough. Not watchful. Not paying nothing, no attention. Amen. You just nod. Amen. Some people just going through the act. They know the protocol. That's it. That's it. Give an honor to the God, pastor, saints, and friends. I thank God for being saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. I've been saved all day long. They didn't say nothing about that night. <laughs> Amen. No evil have I done. But you're going to have to live the life day and night. Somebody composed a song that says, Jesus and the people uh -huh. is watching you. Yes, ma'am. And this is the reason why that you're going to have to live right. Yes. My God, what a day we're living in. Amen. They're not alert anymore. Amen. Satan done put spiritual leg irons on them. They can't hardly go forward. You know, praise God, when, I, when you see people start missing out of church, uh -huh. sometimes, you know, it kind of bothers you because you know what Satan is trying to do. He's trying to stop you. Once he can ever get you to turn your head one time and see somebody wrong, then he'll go to showing you everybody in the church is wrong. You know, you can't pay the devil no attention. The Bible says he is an accuser of the brethren. 
He accused all the time. He accused you to your faith. Yes, he he tell you you're not saved. Yes, he Everybody in here that have ever gotten saved and given your heart to God, he told you you wasn't saved. Because yes, he, he told me that. <laughs> and I, you know what I told him? You was a lie. Amen. You just a lie. And I went to thanking God for my salvation. And I went to praising him for my salvation right there in the devil's face. I said, nah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We have to hold on to our salvation. You've got to hold on to your faith. Praise God, because the enemy is trying to take your faith away from you. Do you know why the devil fights us so bad? He's fighting us over faith. He don't want us to believe God. He don't want us to believe God to live a victorious life. He don't want us to live this life. Hallelujah. But you hang on anyhow. Hallelujah anyhow. Amen. No matter what the enemy try to do, just let him know, hallelujah, anyhow. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Satan will start you to looking at others. You know, you can't put your confidence in man. Amen. You don't look at nobody but Jesus. You see, if you go to looking at man and, and, and you get all of your confidence in man, if he falls, you're going to fall. But you get your confidence in God. Amen. And hold on to God. Because Jesus Christ is a perfect man. Is he so? Amen. Amen. You know, a lot of times when people see other people fall, they say, well, I can't make it. I can't make it. I know if she couldn't live it, I can't live it. You don't go by that. You did run well, but who did hinder you? You see, so this is why you have to pattern your life after Christ. He told us to be a pattern of good work. Didn't he do so? Give Jesus a good hand tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Tomorrow is not promised. And that's why that the Lord says, today, if you will hear his voice, today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your heart. And that's the reason why you need to be listening. As the word go forth, you need to be listening for the Lord's voice. And I know what he's telling you. He's telling you to give your life to him. Because you never know. We're here today. We're gone today. The people used to say gone tomorrow. But we're here today. And gone today. Nobody in here knows tonight. Whether you'll even wake up in the morning. When you say good night tonight. It may be good night. And that's the reason why. That you need to live for God. Because we don't know what day in the hour. Now, you know, a lot of folks, we know that Jesus is coming personally to get us. We know that he's coming bodily to give up, to get us. But sometimes he reaches and get us through death. And we know that death is nothing but a gateway to eternal life. Praise God. Isn't that wonderful? Praise God. It's good to live for God. And we know when we go and lay down to sleep tonight, we don't have nothing to worry about. If we sleep in the eternity, well and good. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Praise God. Go ahead and clap. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. But woe be to the man or the woman that lay down without God and go to sleep and get out of here without God. You go straight to eternal hell. Now a lot of people don't want to hear that. And they say, now you done messed up the message. 
<laughs> talking about hell. But hell is for real. The Lord said that it was because he said it was a rich man went to hell. And in hell he lifted up his eyes. Then he said so. But it went on to tell about the man that knew God and, and, and laid at the rich man's gate, but yet he knew God. He died. And the angels of the Lord came and got him and carried him and laid him in the bosom of Abraham, which is a place of rest. But now the rich man died. But I didn't hear nothing about no angels coming to get him. The Bible said in hell, he lifted up his eyes. So what I'm trying to tell you tonight, now is the time. Right now, while we are here, and the Lord is here with us, and the Lord is wanting to save, and God is wanting to deliver. God is wanting to set free. But right now, while he's here, this is the time to give God your heart, to give God your life. You know, it's so beautiful when you turn your life over. You never knew such joy till you turn your life over to serve God. Give your heart to God. And when you come with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your strength, all of your might, and give your heart to God, you talking about a beautiful life. It's such a beautiful life. It's so wonderful. You know, praise God, we as saints of God, when we go through our trials, we're not like the world. We don't go get a 45 and blow our brains out when we're going through our trials. But we can just lift our hands and say, Lord, I thank you. Thank you for the strength, Lord. Thank you for the grace that you've given me to go through this trial. We just walk on through it when you got God on your life. But if you don't have the Lord, that's when you go to doing all them crazy things. Taking poison, drinking Clorox. Yeah, that's when you go to doing crazy stuff. Going to the drugstore and the folks had to send the police after you looking for strict man. Yeah, see, when they see you coming out buying that, they're going to send somebody after you. Because that don't sound right. But you need God in your life. That's the best thing you could ever do. Hallelujah. Put on the new man, the scripture tells us. The man Jesus. That's the best clothing you can ever put on. I don't care how beautiful a suit you got on and what you paid for it. If you don't have Jesus, if you haven't put him on, you ain't got nothing on. Right. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Glory to God. It means everything to serve God. Other than that, all other clothes you see is nothing but filthy rags. You need to put on Christ. Glory to God. You know, the Lord, one time I had a vision, or, or maybe I did die, I don't know. I mean, I saw myself laying on a couch, and um, I was laying there, and I felt life leaving my body. And it was just going, going, going. And I laid there, and just in a split second like that, I was standing looking up at Jesus, and he was looking at me with a smile on his face. Wow. Hallelujah! I was in one of the beautiful places, places you could ever be. Honey, the little old grass down here you trying to mow didn't look like nothing like it looked over there. The beauty, the color. And as Jesus stood there looking down at me, he just had rays a row of rainbows. All around him, rays of rainbows. And sure enough, didn't need no light for that city. Because he truly did light it up. He lit it up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
Jesus. Glory to God. And when I came back to myself, Lord have mercy, ooh, I said, what am I doing down here? <laughs> Hallelujah, glory to God. I wanted to stay where I was because that was the beautiful sight that I had ever beheld. Saints, we got something waiting on us. Yes, the Lord said to us, he said, don't let your heart be troubled. Don't worry about nothing. If you believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. He said, if it were not so, I wouldn't even told you. I'm going to prepare a place for you. My God. And when I come, I'm going to receive you to myself. Ain't this all right? He be Jesus Christ standing at the door saying, come on in. Hallelujah! Because he said, I am the door. Didn't he say that? My God, we don't even have to knock. We'll just see a welcome saying, come on in. in. Woo, hallelujah. Won't that be beautiful? Isn't that worth living for God for? Isn't that worth watching your every word, watching at how you live, Watching at how you treat everybody. Isn't it worth it? Glory to God. One reason why that people don't feel like that you can live right is because they don't want to live right. That's what it is. And that's why that they say, can't nobody live like that. It's because they don't want to. When you put on Christ, you take a new mind. You got, a, a, you got a new person living on the inside. The old things are passed away. Amen. If you was a liar, lying is gone. If you was a backbiter, biting, backbiting, and back backs, <laughs> all of that is gone. If you was an adulterer, it's gone. You don't live like that anymore. Isn't that beautiful? Praise God to just live a life where people can see Jesus in you. Amen. That is so wonderful. And I'd like to say tonight that now is the time. Now is the time. And don't, don't uh, start, don't, don't start this mess, Satan, telling you, you can't make it. I, you know, I feel that I'm talking to somebody tonight that the enemy has been riding your back and telling you, you can't make it. You can't go no further. He's a lie. The Bible says he's a liar and the father of him. Didn't the word say that? He's a liar. You can make it. Young ladies, you can make it. Young men, old men, old ladies, you can make it. A lot of folks say, well, you talking to the uh, young one. I know the young one. I'm old, and I can't hardly make it. The devil is alive. You better. You better. Because Jesus is soon to come. And you know what he said? He said, I'm coming after a church without spot, wrinkle, blemish, or any such thing. He said, it, it can't even be close to it. Can't you see how jam up we got to live? He said, if the righteous scarcely be saved, just scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinners appear. Sinners and ungodly folks ain't even got a chance. The Bible said a lie, you can't even tear in his sight. You walk up telling God, I, I would have lived right, but Sister John said she backslid and that made me backslide. You, uh, the Lord ain't gonna even have time to tell you, you just a lie. He gonna say, get out of my face. I don't even wanna hear it. Amen. Cause a liar will get up lying. 
Amen. So God, the Lord, is looking for the pure in heart. Blessed. He said we are blessed. Blessed are the pure in heart. For they shall see God. Amen. I'm not running this race in vain. What about you? I'm running this race to one day be able to live in happiness, joy, and in peace. Just to behold my Savior's face. I love that song. I One day I want to behold him again. I want to see him like I saw him that night. Amen. When the Lord gave me the vision of him. Hallelujah. I want to see him like that again. Hallelujah with all that beauty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the beautiful rainbows of glory that was all around him. And that light that was over his head that stood over his head. I just want to see him like that again. What a mighty God. Saints, I haven't seen, ear haven't heard, neither have it entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for them that love him. Don't you love him tonight? Hallelujah. Clap your hands for Jesus. Praise God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He is so wonderful tonight. Hallelujah. He's a God that will go with you through thick and thin. David said, I once was young. He said, but now I'm old. Never have I seen the righteous forsaken, neither his seed beg bread. And this is the reason why you need to get him now. You need him tonight. This is the night to give Jesus your heart. Today is the day of salvation. Now is the accepted time. You that want the Lord tonight to come into your life, I want you to come down tonight and let us pray for you. Lead you to the throne of grace that God would have mercy upon your soul. You need mercy tonight. Hallelujah. I say you need mercy tonight upon your soul. Hell is hot. Eternity is long. And you need God. Hallelujah. You need God tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, you need God tonight in your life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. My God, thank you, Jesus. Come on tonight and let the Lord come into your life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. I feel God speaking to someone else tonight. God is saying, come, come tonight. This is the night. This is the night that you meet face to face with the Lord Jesus Christ and give him your heart tonight. Give him your heart. This is the night to do it because one day he's coming in the moment and the twinkling of an eye. He's coming. He's coming back again. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel him speaking tonight. He's telling somebody else. Come on. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, bless his name. Hallelujah. My God. You tonight that want the Holy Ghost, you want God in your life. You want to make a change. You're tired of sin. You're tired of the devil riding your back and telling you what you can't do. I want you to get your mind on the Lord tonight 
And I want you to repeat after me. I want you to mean it in your heart. Open up your heart, open up your mind. And say, Lord Jesus, open up your mouth. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Lord, I ask you to save my soul. Save me from a burning hell, Lord. And I want you to baptize me with the Holy Ghost and fire. Lord, I give you my life. I give you my all, Lord. Jesus, fill me with the Holy Ghost. Tell him to fill you with the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray, brothers. Hallelujah.